right, you guys can go ahead with questions. All right, Darius, just kind of what's your reaction to everything that just happened? Just be the number three team in the country. Um, you know, obviously we're super excited, um, but, you know, we're not shocked. We always believe that we can be, beat them and compete at a high level. So, you know, just moving forward, we got to continue to work hard and continue to practice at a high level moving forward. Darius, everybody kind of drove into this game except for yourselves. How does it mean to pull off a win like this and find you? Um, it's definitely a big win for sure, but, um, you know, everyone counting us out just gave us a chip on the shoulder. Like, uh, we remember they picked us last, so we just want to beat the odds. How good did it feel to be able to bounce back after, you know, kind of playing discombobulated over the weekend at Kansas State? Um, this is huge, you know, it just shows that we can compete at the highest level. You know, it's the, clearly uh, a great basketball team, so we uh, show that we can beat them and compete and be a postseason team. Dawkins said when you played at Kansas State, this team maybe lost their composure, didn't play with the poise you're capable of. What did you see change tonight in that regard? Uh, I feel like we played with a lot of grit. Um, we played with a lot of toughness, and our defense was really strong. Um, I feel like we moved the ball very well on offense, which I feel like contributed to a lot of our offense. Kansas was shooting 68% uh, in the first half, and then in the second half they were shooting 31%. Like, what adjustments did you guys make to help lower that uh, shooting percentage? Uh, we knew we had to lock in on defense. I think um, our coaching strategies with us going zone really helped us a lot. Um, I feel like in the first half they got a lot of transition points, which helped them, and that's something that they're strong in and fits their offense. So we had to limit their uh, transition points. Darius, talk about what you guys were able to do at the end of the first half. They go up by 16, and they ground 345 or something left, and you guys made a big run to kind of get a little bit closer. What did you guys do effectively to, to make that run? Um, we had to you know, buy in and come together and get stops. You know, Our offense is our defense, so we had to really dig deep and be able to get stops and convert on the offensive end. Darius, can you just speak about the fans and the crowd at this game? There wasn't a moment where they weren't standing up and yelling to the top of their voices. How did that feel as a player when you made a big play? Man, that, that was huge. You know, I feel like if our fans come out a lot more like that, it's, it's a great experience and a great environment for us. You know, we feed off their energy and we hope to see them more like that in the future. You guys have talked about the chip on the shoulder of being picked last. What message do you hope this sends to the rest of the league? Um, that we can compete at a high level. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like we competed very hard tonight. Um, our coaches believe in us and we believe in ourselves. That's all that matters. Um, it's just about us. You know, we can't look from the outside in. We just have to focus on within. When um, offensively, you guys did a great job attacking the basket. Hunter Dickinson had four fouls, really uh, hurt their defense. Was that a point of emphasis from Johnny today? Uh, yeah, we know Hunter is one of their better players. So we know putting him in foul trouble will be able to help us um, win the game and the outcome. So, you know, he's a big guy down there, but he's not really trying to block shots. So we knew we had to attack the paint. How did you feel emotionally getting prepared for those last couple of free throws to try to make it a two-possession game with about 10, 15 seconds left? Um, obviously, they're big free throws, you know, but I trust my work that I put in. I work on free throws every single day, so, you know, to go in there and be able to seal the win for my team was big. It was it like celebrating on the court with all the students who stormed the court? I guess your first court storming at UCF. Yeah, that's definitely my first uh, court storming <laughs> at UCF. You know, it was a great experience, but, you know, as a team, we weren't really shocked. We knew we can come in the game and win and compete at a high level. How did it feel to hold Kansas to 60 points? Obviously, you got off to a little rough start in the first half after the seven home run, and you guys settled in, and then the second half, you just exploded. Um, it's great. You know, they're a great offensive team. I want to say they have a crazy stat where it's like a lot of the points, like 70% are assists. So we knew we had to lock in defensively. We had to control the things that we can control, which is our defense and our energy. As it kind of just. Johnny showed a lot of emotion after the game in a video that was shot. What kind of uh, emotion did you see in the locker room when you got back? Um, you know, he doesn't really show a lot of emotion, but when he does, it's always great. You know, it's a little bit of relief for us to show that we're working hard and that he's happy about us and that he's happy about the work that we're putting in. Has it just set in for you, like how big the thing you guys just did is? Um, obviously it's big, but it's, you know, we're a next player, next mentality team. You know, we got BYU coming in on Saturday, who's another ranked opponent, so we're looking to go 1-0 again. You guys seem kind of annoyed or if not irritated that you were predicted last to finish in the Big 12. What message does this send to the rest of the Big 12? that we can compete in the Big 12. You know, it's the best basketball in the country, and we just knocked off the number three team. So we're hoping that we open everyone's eyes now and people aren't going to doubt us anymore. Late in that game, it was, Kansas made a run. They went up 53-52. You hit a big three-pointer to end that run. Just talk about that moment and your three-point shooting this year. Have you worked on that in the offseason? It's been paying off. Uh, yeah, I've worked on my three-point shooting a lot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I got frustrated last year, you know, people going on the ball screen, so I, I put a lot of time and work into my three-point shooting, you know, just going back to the fundamentals, you know, the simple stuff about my shot, so I, it's starting to pay off. You enjoyed this one tonight, but you mentioned BYU. It doesn't get any easier game in and game out. 
Not at all. You know, next play, we got practice at 8.30, so we got to get our rest and get ready for tomorrow. It's not going to be easy. You know, coach is still going to be on his hard, so next play. You guys all set? Appreciate it, Darius. Congrats. 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 Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.